hello let's solve this exponential equation together now what we expected to have for the value of x in this equation is just a real value join me as i teach you how to do this it's just so easy so we're going to begin with our solution so we begin with 81 to the power of x plus 729 to the power of x plus this is equal to 3. Now looking at the left side, you observe that these numbers can be expressed in powers of 9. Because you know that 81 is 9 times 9, which is 9 squared. 729 is the same as 9 times 9 times 9, which is 9 cubed. So applying it here, we are going to have 9 squared for 81 raised to power x plus for this we have 9 cubed raised to power of x plus 9 to the power of x is equal to 3. Now what do you do? Remember, for every a to the power of m raised to power n, it is a to the power of m multiplied by n, which is a to the power of n raised to power m. You observe you can switch the paths and they give you the same thing. So here we are going to switch our paths. So we have 9 to the power of x will be raised to power 2. Plus here we have 9 to the power of x is cubed. And 9 to the power of x is equal to 3. Did you observe that this is repeated? So quickly, let's 9 to the power of x use another variable. You can use y. So let this be this. We are going to use it, substitute it here to help us to solve. Let's do that together. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you very much for choosing to mentor us. It means a lot. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. And if you find this interesting, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Let's keep doing this. So replacing this here, we are going to have y squared plus y cubed plus y is equal to 3. Rearranging this so that the one with the highest power begins. So we have y cubed plus y squared plus y equal to 3. Now this has led you to a cubic equation because the highest power of this y is 3. Now what do you do? We are going to get one of the factors to help us to solve. For every cubic, we expected to have three solutions. So let's get one factor. And how do you get it? Let's use this 3 using our trial error. What are the factors of this 3 so that when we substitute, we'll see if that gives us back 3. We are going to use the factors of 3 are uh, positive and negative 1, positive and negative 3. We are going to try for the first factor, positive 1. So we have 1 cubed plus 1 squared plus 1. Will it give us 3? Let's see. 1 cubed gives us 1. This gives us 1 plus 1. And when you add this, is equal to this 3. So this means that 1 is one of the solutions and that will help us to solve. So let's apply it here. We have y cubed plus y squared. So we have plus y plus y. For 3, it is 1 add 1 add 1. So we are going to have y cubed. We are going to move this to the left side. This is positive. So move it, it gives you negative 1 plus y squared, move this, it gives you negative 1, plus y, move it also negative, is equal to 0. Remember that this is the same as y cubed minus 1 is 1 cubed, as we said earlier, plus y squared minus 1 squared plus y minus 1 equal to 0. These two are together, these two are together, and these are together. Now, what do you do at this point? Quickly remember this identity, your, your algebraic identity that says for every a cubed minus b cubed, it is a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared. And for every a squared minus b squared, it is a plus b into a minus b. This is your algebraic identities. The first is your difference of two cubes, and this is difference of two squares. So apply it here. The first one, let's apply it here. So we are going to have this. We now give us y minus 1 into y squared plus, multiply these two, 
it gives us y plus this will give us one squared close your bracket now for this remember to bring your subtraction down for this we are going to apply this so it's giving us y plus one into y minus one then bring your addition sign. We have y minus 1, and this is equal to 0. Let's put this in bracket. Now, did you observe anything? Remember that these are together, these are together, and this is on its own. You observe that y minus 1 is repeated in the three parts. Let's factor that out to have. Factor y minus 1 out. We open a big bracket. Now, use this to divide this. You have y minus 1 and y squared plus y plus y plus 1. This is 1. 1 squared is 1. If you divide it by y minus 1, you are left with this. So this is going to give us y squared plus y plus this is 1. Then bring your addition sign in. Do same here. Use this to divide these two. You'll be left with y plus 1. So we have y plus 1. Bring your addition sign in. Use this also to divide itself. It gives you 1. So this is what we have and is equal to 0. Keep solving this. This will give us y minus 1 into y squared plus y plus this y. Add this together. We have 3 is equal to 0. So we are having y minus 1 into y squared. At this, you have 2y plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, remember, for every a, b to be equal to 0, either a is 0 or b is 0. So either this is 0, so we have y minus 1 is equal to 0. So from there, we now have to remove this, you add 1 to both sides. So you do that, why we give us, add this, it gives us 1. So this gives us the first value of y. Now let's work on this to get the remaining values. Let's do that together. And I hope you've already given us a thumbs up. Thank you. Let's do that together to have. So for the second part, we now have y squared plus 2y plus 3 is equal to 0. Now this is your quadratic. Let's test for the root. Let's check for the nature of this quadratic equation to see if it is real or complex. Now, if it is real for discriminants, we have it that it is b squared minus 4ac. If it is real, this will be greater than or equal to zero. And if our discriminant b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, this is complex and we are going to reject. So for this, we have real. So let's check for this condition. And if you do that, remember your A is the coefficient of Y squared. B is the coefficient of Y. And your C is the constant. So plug this in any of this. We are going to have our discriminants. We give us, this will give us 2 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 3. Simplifying D is what we have 4. If you multiply this, it gives us negative 12. And when you subtract this, you see that this is giving you negative 8, which is less than 0. So what it means is that this is complex. And if it's complex, we are rejecting this solution of y. So in that case, we are going to have y equal to 1 is the real solution. So this is what we are going to use to get the value of x. So to get x, Let's recall we left a statement behind that 9 to the power of x is equal to y. So replace this y value. We have 9 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now what do you do? Remember in your exponent rule, when you have any number raised to power 0, it's always equal to 1. So when you have 1, this 1 is the same as 9 raised to power of 0. So if you apply it here, we have 9 to the power of x is equal to 9 to the power of 0. Now, what did you observe? The basis are the same. Automatically, the powers should be equal. So we have x is equal to 0. So this gives us the value of x. 
we are going to plug this x value on the left side to see if it gives us 3. Let's do that together. To verify, we have 81 to the power of our x is 0 plus 729 to the power of 0 plus 9 to the power of 0. Is this giving us 3? Now remember we said when we raise a number to the power of 0 is 1. So this is the same as 1, this is 1, this is 1. And is this equal to 3? If you add this, it gives you 3. And 3 is equal to 3. So it means that our x equal to 0 is absolutely correct. And I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to tell us how much. Give this tutorial a thumbs up. Share with your friends. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. Thank you. I will see you in our next class. Till then. Bye.